remember being at my desk and picking up the phone when a recruiter called me about the Accenture job. And it was a few months after my father had passed away at a very young age, at 68. And I'm, I think looking back, that's why I took a meeting. And, uh, and I basically said, I'm 42 years old and I can see my future. And it would be a great future. I loved Cravath. Uh, and Accenture offered me something different. Uh, and I you know, decided to take it, and, and I think it was the last gift of my dad, to be honest. So um, did you think when you joined the company that a female would become the head of this gigantic organization, or did you think that it was going to be typically a male-run kind of thing? You know, I didn't really think about it because I joined as general counsel, and, uh, you know, as the general counsel, and, you know, and coming in where the average tenure on the leadership team when I joined was 30 years, I didn't come in with the expectation that I would be CEO. Uh, and uh, you know, really, when, when we think about how do you, how do you make a change uh, in leadership and how do you continue to foster diversity in your leadership, our former CEO, Pierre Nantaram, was a great example of someone who sponsored me, saw potential, uh, and created a new pathway that I certainly didn't have an expectation uh, when I came into Accenture.